Hey, what is up guys? It's the Ghost Hacker here, and I am back for another Visual Studio tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you a few things. But before you hop into that, I just want to quickly say thank you very much for the unbelievable support. It's been really awesome. And you guys can just go ahead and keep that up, and I'll definitely keep up the YouTube videos. So, we're going to hop straight into here now. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the checkbox and how to use the if statement. All right, so we're gonna hop in here and grab ourselves a checkbox. And we'll put that right there. We're gonna be needing the text on this to checked equals red, unchecked equals blue. All right, so we got that here now and we're gonna make this a tiny bit smaller. Alright, so what we're going to do is make it so when you check the little box, it's going to make the background color red. And when you uncheck it, it's going to make it blue. Alright, so we're going to double click this so we can get into the code. And this is where we're going to use the if statement. So we're going to do if check box one dot check space equals true, then... And I'm going to press enter and now that's a basic if statement all right so in here you can put any piece of code so if it's checked it can open a new form it can enable a button it can do a message box it can do anything it can activate any piece of code all right so for ours we're going to do me dot oops back color space color dot um i believe red that's what we picked right we picked red to be the checked color uh what did i do oh i accidentally we gotta put space equals that's that's what i did on there all right and it put the brackets there that's my bad all right so that's what it's gonna do and now for this we're gonna press enter and put else space so what's that what it's doing here is pretty much it's checking if it's checked and it equals true so if it is checked it's gonna make the me me equals the what it's on so like the main form so if you want to do it to a different form you're gonna have to put say form 2 dot back color um, okay so it says if it is checked it's gonna do that and else so if it's not checked or anything anything else it's just gonna do whatever piece of code's here so we're gonna do me dot back color space equals now we're dot blue there you go that's how you actually do it correctly i just kind of messed up up there but you know whatever all right so now we're gonna run the program i'll move this down here for us and now when you check it it's red and when you uncheck it it's blue now you can keep doing that over and over and over and it works great that's exactly how it's supposed to work and that's it pretty much so if that's all you guys if that's all you guys wanted to know you can go ahead and head out now but i'm going to show you one more example where this could be helpful so um yeah you guys can go ahead and stay if you want so i'm going to grab another checkbox and i'm going to kind of speed through this because it's going to make the same um I'm just going to click, or I'm going to add a agree. Alright, so put that there. And I'm also going to grab a button. Oops, I did not want that. I'll just delete that and grab another one. Alright, and now we're going to do open form 2. Alright, so now we're going to add ourselves another form. Um add fun and we're just gonna name it form 2 and I'm gonna grab a label real fast just to show that it is form 2 form 2 and I'll make the font bigger I'll make it bold and we'll make it real nice and big there we go okay so that's definitely form 2 and we're gonna go back here and now we're gonna go to the button click it again and we're going to scroll down over here in the options and we're going to look for enabled 
and we're gonna put that to false so by default it's not gonna be enabled it's not gonna be usable so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this down a little bit we're gonna make it so when you click this button so say you have a license agreement or a user agreement or something like that um, so a bunch of text and if after they read it they have to agree to whatever it says so we're gonna double click this and we're gonna do if checkbox two dot check equals true then we're gonna do button one dot enabled equals true oops and now we're gonna do else button one dot enabled equals false All right so there we go now this shall work so we'll go ahead and open the program okay so this one will still work we still got that going and as you can see we cannot click this button you can hear my mouse clicking we cannot click that so after we click agree there we go now we can click it and actually i forgot to put a little bit of code to make it open so i'm gonna double click that i'm gonna do one two dot sure all right Oops. all right whatever that works too um okay so that still works click this and now we can open it so now we got form two so you can have this on like a agreement page so you have a bunch of text up here that says like you can't sell this program and you can't change it you can't mod it or anything and then they have to agree to it and then you could go ahead and go through through to the actual program and if they don't agree to it they can't go to the program so that's pretty much it that's the second um, the second example and it works great so you guys can use that in any case pretty much you can make these do anything you want and that's pretty much it for this tutorial so if it did help you guys and you guys did make it to the end and didn't leave before um go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up It'll, i'll uh, sorry i'll really really appreciate it it does help me out a lot and um if you have any problems drop me a comment and if you have any thing in specific next time you want to see just comment and I will definitely make that video for you as soon as I possibly can um so yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial go ahead and do that stuff like I said and I'll see you guys next time so bye bye guys have a great day